What's up guys, Dirty Birds are back, and we're going to talk NCAA, March Madness, down to the final four teams, and um, as you are saying, the best game of the week was Villanova, Pitt, number one versus number Definitely. three seed. Great Huge game. game. Came down to the final seconds. Um, yeah, it definitely did not disappoint, and uh, Villanova was able to get the big win um, in, up there in Boston. So, um, Pitt took the lead late, or they had, the, they had that three, and then um, Nova was inbound and it thrown at the length of the court. I don't yeah. even know why. Dante Cunningham tried to come down and tried to bounce off the guy out of bounds. Didn't work. But they threw it up, and then uh, LeVance Fields got fouled, and he made his free throws. Uh, they tied the game. There's only like five seconds left, and um, then they proceeded to inbound, inbound to Cunningham. He flipped it to Reynolds. He uh, ran down the court pretty quick. The defense. It was only he was already behind like three defenders. So yeah, he right through everybody. Uh, Blair, I think, the only guy he had to beat, and he blew by him, ha hanging in the lane, and uh, nailed the short little jumper. And um, Nova is headed to Detroit. Final four. What a game that was. Um, Scotty Reynolds, proven all year why he's definitely one of the best players in college basketball. He's been carrying this Villanova team, um, along with seniors Dwayne Anderson, Dante Cunningham, and um, they just are playing so well lately that uh, UNC. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, it's definitely for UNC be, <laughs> for both teams actually. Um, it's, that's gonna be a great game. It's gonna definitely. be a tough one for both teams, but uh, Villanova's gonna have to be ready because North Carolina is. Uh, or I could be one of the best teams in the country. And to get to the Final Four, UNC uh, beat Oklahoma, uh, one of the favorites that was yeah. coming in this tournament. Kind of easily. They beat them by more than 10 points. Yeah. So uh, they had, seemed like a pretty easy time beating them. So, um, yeah, it's going to be difficult. Both sides have a lot of strengths and weaknesses. Um, Hansboro, uh, obviously, from North Carolina, is going to be yeah, uh, yeah. tough to tough to block. But I Looks think like, uh, might be on, I don't know who's going to be on them, but... Um, yeah, down low they'll try and double him. Yeah, probably with uh, Cunningham, I'm sure. Um, but Ty Lawson's healthy again, yep. back from the foot injury. He had, I think, he had 19 uh, against Oklahoma, and um, Blake Griffin just couldn't do it all by himself <laughs> against Tar Heels. Um, he, he still was able to get 23 points, but it seemed like it definitely wasn't, wasn't even close to enough. Yeah. UNC was able to get the easy win, and they're headed to Detroit as well. And um, the other matchups, Michigan State was facing off that against was, Louisville. And Michigan State was able to pull out a tough win. That was a great win, I think, for Michigan State. Definitely, to beat them by 12. Um, no one really expected that. Uh, Michigan State, some people were saying it could be a Final Four team, but the way Louisville went through the... Big East tournament and um, dominated everyone. everybody. I know they were my bracket pick, yeah. and obviously that's why my bracket has been busted. Mine but, too, I think. But um, he, or Louisville, just didn't bring their A game. And Michigan State um, definitely did. On um, it. Yeah, definitely. You know, Sue Tom from Michigan State, their big man had 19 and 10 rebounds, so he is definitely playing well. I mean, Raymar Morgan's been struggling for him, but they didn't need him because they're they were played great defense and. Um, just were able to get that win, and they're headed to the Final Four as well. Yeah, both but, sides um, did, yeah. Yeah, definitely both sides did a great job. Um, I don't know how much else to say. Just It's going to be um interesting Final Four. Mm -hmm. uh, you, and then the last game, um, they decided it went UConn and um, Purdue. And UConn got a pretty easy win. Um, overshadowed with the controversy with the recruiting and all mm -hmm. that, they were apparent, apparently might get in trouble. So they were able to get the distractions out of their mind, and they were able to to, um, to advance. Yeah, so I don't know. At this final four, who do you think is going to win it all? Well, obviously the home team Nova. I definitely want them to win. Definitely. I think, I think they they'll have a chance of them to get through North Carolina. But yeah, yeah, I think if, if they, they can't get through them, then uh, uh, yeah, I think North Carolina is going to win. But I think either Nova or North Carolina is going to win the tournament. Uh, well, Michigan yeah. State's playing well, though. I think they they also have a chance. Yeah, I think they got to be the dark horse uh, on the scenario. But I don't know. UConn's going to be tough. Um, so I, I think whoever win, um, obviously I think if whoever win. I kind of think whoever wins the Villanova, yeah, UNC game is going to be the national champion. I mean, not to say anything away from Michigan State and UConn, but they, you know, if they bring their A game, they can get it done as well. But mm -hmm. the way Villanova's playing. Everybody's 
playing well and everybody's contributing. And of course, UNC being the dominant team that they always are this Definitely. time of year, that either of those teams are going to be tough to stop. And, um, you know, Hansborough and Scotty Rounds, two of the best players in college basketball are going to be hard to take down. And um, it's I gonna, think going to be a fun next week to see. Definitely you next Saturday that. night, both yeah. games will be going on. So I don't know. It's going to be it's going to be crazy. Gonna be it was fun. crazy this week. Yeah, weekend. Uh, tournament is winding down, but it's going to be a great final four in Detroit. And um, just go Cats. Yeah, that's all I got to say. We're both hoping Nova can get the win. And uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see on Saturday. So we'll be back after the games. We'll yeah, let we'll you know. try and national give you a championship national championship preview, preview. and uh, obviously uh, review the game after it happens. You know, mm-hmm. break down our new national championship in 2009. But um, we just can't wait till Saturday for the game, and it's going to be crazy. And um, just go Cats.